Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Angie and today I want to share with you my bi-weekly wax melt empties and reviews. This is for June 16th through June 30th, 2024. This is everything that I was able to melt and empty and my reviews on how they performed in my home. I'm just going to randomly pull here, but I do have two candles that I emptied this week that I want to talk about. I've been trying to incorporate some candles in when I'm melting wax. If I have scents that'll go with it. So the first candle that I was able to finish is from Goose Creek. And it is the buttered blueberry scone. Um, I don't know if, I don't think this, does this tell the scent? Oh, yes, they did start putting scent notes on it, which I love. Warm scone, blueberries, sweet cream, and buttery vanilla. This was really good. This was actually one that I had froze and chopped it up and did it that way instead of melting it or burning it. Such a good buttery, creamy, blueberry scone type scent. Loved it. It performed probably medium to medium high in my open concept area, but I did only have one of these candles. Probably if I would have had a couple, probably would have been better, but I did enjoy the scent of it and I would probably repurchase it. Maybe next time I would just repurchase like two so that I knew I had plenty of scent going. My absolute favorite scent of all time is Bath & Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. I was super sad that this was the only one I had. I don't know why I didn't buy more. I need to do that if I see them on clearance or anything. This is fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I burned it all the way to this point and then decided I wasn't going to burn it anymore because it was getting so close to the end. Um, so I didn't want it to end up burning and me not knowing, you know, that it was burning. This is such a good scent. It does actually have kind of a kerosene slight kerosene and smoky vibe when you smell like down inside of the glass um but this one is such a good creamy fresh picked strawberry not a candy strawberry with that yummy like pound cake shortcake vibe absolute favorite for me it's a beast of a thrower even with just the one candle in my open concept area when i even wasn't putting in wax or before i put in wax i could smell this so amazing always a repurchase absolutely love that one i got through a teddy bees milk cookies and zucchini bread that was sent to me from jen this is our milk and cookies blended with zucchini bread um i'm not a big fan of zucchini bread most of the time but teddy bees does have a really good creamy sweet zucchini bread instead of that savory um kind of feet smelling zucchini bread that a lot of people don't like and then add the milk and cookies which is a really good creamy sugar cookie or butter cookie type scent bakery type scent this was amazing such creaminess going throughout my open concept area it threw absolutely amazing as teddy bees always does in my home and I would repurchase this one. And thank you so much to Jen for sending it to me. The next one I got through was also sent to me by Jen. It is Super Tarts Magically Delicious. I believe this one is called Lucky Now, maybe. It's just a Lucky Charms, like, marshmallowy cereal type scent. There's what the bag looked like. I believe it was like a band bag, like a full band bag. I haven't ordered from Super Tarts in a while. I do know that she's doing like, I think weekly restocks. I watched someone's video and they mentioned it. I do need to order from her in the future, but I'm just trying to work through as much wax that I have on hand right now before I start placing a bunch of orders. This is just a really good representation of a dry Lucky Charm cereal. You get that marshmallowy kind of aspect from it. You get that powdery like dry cereal, but not in a bad way. It's really good. No milk or creamy kind of ness. I guess it has a little creaminess because of the marshmallow, but it is just spot on. Smells just like the Lucky Charms dry cereal. Absolutely loved it. Performed amazing in my home as Super Tarts always does, and I would repurchase it. From Savannah Blue, we have zucchini bread type late, or I, I say this wrong every video, I think. Zucchini bread triple layer. <laughs> this was also sent to me from Jen. It is 
zucchini cookies, strawberry cream, zucchini cake, and Home Alone. I still do not know what Home Alone is. This was poured in 2020, and it, it threw pretty good in my open concept area. I really got that creamy strawberry, which reminds me slightly of strawberry pound cake. Their zucchini bread is a little bit similar to Teddy B's, but I think it just has just a hint of that savoriness I don't like. It's okay, but I don't think I would repurchase it. And Savannah Blue doesn't perform in my home at like a high or medium high type uh, throw. So I don't really purchase from that vendor, but I am happy to use up anything that anyone sends me, of course, and give it a try. But just wouldn't be a repurchase for me from vendor or the scent. But if you like those types of scents and Savannah Blue does well for you, you might wanna give that one a try. I got through this cult from Closet Full of Wax. This one is always hard to read. Lucky Marshmallow, Charms, Strawberry Jam, and French Baguette. Um, another vendor that I don't never usually get the best of throw from. I got a lot of the Lucky Charms cereal with this one and a little French Baguette. The strawberry jam was way, way in the back, or they just didn't use a lot of that oil. Um, this was still not a powerhouse thrower for me, especially in my open concept area. Um, their wax may perform a little bit better in smaller areas, but I just haven't been purchasing from them based on previous experience with their wax. So not a repurchase from vendor or scent. Then I got through this Mean Girls from Sassy Girl Aroma that Jen also sent to me. This is Bubblegum Cotton Candy Sugar Cookie. She has an amazing sugar cookie scent. Um, unfortunately, you know, she's not able to pour right now due to some tragedies that things that have happened in her life. But I love her wax. I will always purchase from her. Um, I got the Sugary Sweet Sponge Sugar Cotton Candy and the sugar cookie the most which i absolutely loved a little bubble gum maybe here and there but i'm not a huge bubble gum fan so um, i'm glad it didn't come out too much i will melt a bubble gum scent here and there but it's just not a favorite probably wouldn't repurchase this actual blend but again the sugar cookie was absolutely amazing and it was probably about a medium throw from Rainbow Melts Honey Pear Ciders. Jen sent me this one as well. It was poured on 8 9 20, 23. Sweet Honey Pears and Spice. This was fabulous. Amazing. Great fall scent. I know I'm not melting it in fall, but it was so good. It was like a sweet um, pear cider. Exactly like it says. It didn't have too much spice to me. Just enough. And that pear really shines in this. Oh my gosh. So good. If you like apple cider but you also love pear. I think you would really enjoy this one. And this was a beast of a thrower as Rainbow Melts usually is in my home. Would repurchase this one for the fall. Thank you, Jen, for sending me that. I absolutely loved it. Another Rainbow Melts here in Apple Cider Donuts. Jen sent me this one as well. It was from, looks like July 14th of 2023. And this is apples with a hint of spice, sugary sweet donuts, so the sprinkle brown sugar. Oh yes, brown sugar, love it. You get a good amount of that brown sugar in here with that sugary sweet fried donut type scent. And you get a bit of apple, but it's not overpowering. As you all know, I'm not a big fan of apple usually, unless it's more of a green apple. This is a really good representation of apple cider donuts. It threw probably medium high in my open concept area. I believe I melted this one with the honey pear cider, so probably not as good of a um, test on this one since they were melting together, but it was a good blend and I did enjoy it and I would repurchase this scent in the future for fall. Next we have Luke from Super Tarts, which I'm sure is probably named something else now. These are older uh, band bags and half band bags of hers. And I never did find out what the scent was of this, but it, I think it has some bakery in it. It smells like a kind of a, a creamy sugar cookie or marshmallowy type bakery scent. Wasn't the best of thrower though in my open concept. Probably wouldn't repurchase it unless, I don't know, maybe if I got like a fresh one that was a little bit newer, I would maybe give it a try like one bag just to see. 
L3 Sugar Cookie Royale sent to me by April. Thank you so much, April. I love L3. I'm super sad that they're going to be closing. I am going to miss a lot of her blends, and her Sugar Cookie Royale is amazing. It's creamy. So vanilla, creamy, just your quintessential, delicious, like soft baked sugar cookie. Nothing else, just the sugar cookie or like a sugar cookie dough maybe. Super yummy. It was a strong thrower in my open concept. Definite repurchase. I don't know if I will get to repurchase anything before she closes or not though. The pharmacist's daughter, Huckleberry Pie, sent to me by Jen. This is grapefruit, lemon, lime, lollipop, cotton candy. I didn't understand this because Huckleberry Pie, why not just have, I don't know if this was named wrong or um, the scent notes. No, it smells like what the scent notes say, I believe. Yeah, definitely, because you get a lot of that lemon and lime. It almost reminds me of like a Sprite or a 7-Up scent, which I don't tend to love. Um, I do not love grapefruit. Lollipop's not a big thing I love. I feel like with this one, you get a lot of that lemon lime, a lot of the lollipop. I love cotton candy. I think it's just there to sweeten it up. But huckleberry pie, why not just do a huckleberry pie scent if you're going to name it that? So I don't know if this is a mistake or not, but I didn't love this scent. Um, and throw was probably, it did throw pretty good though. I could smell it, of course, because it was a scent that I didn't absolutely love. But it was about a medium high in my open concept area, but not a repurchase for those scent notes. Now, if the scent is, is something else and those scent notes are wrong, I would maybe give that one a try. Then I have um, Southbound Candle Co. Sweet as Pie sent to me from Jen. This is cherry pie, ice cream scoop bread, and zucchini bread. I loved this. This reminds me of Cincy's Maraschino Sugar Cookie. I think I said that um, whenever I got this in as well. It's not the same, but it's got that maraschino cherry with a little bit of like a some kind of bakery vibe. And then you got the extra creaminess from the ice cream scoop bread and zucchini bread. Yeah, I love this. And it performed really strong in my open concept area. It didn't last very long, maybe six hours. But, you know, um, I got to enjoy it. It's from 2022. So that could be a factor in it as well. And I would repurchase it because I really did enjoy the scent of it. And I love cherry scents when they're done right and they're more authentic. Okay, I have two left. First one is Goose Creek Cliffside Sea Spray. This one is Saltwater Ocean Air Blooms Soft Fur Lemon and White Woods. This is from 2022. I melted it here in my bedroom and bathroom. It did amazing. It was a strong thrower. Lasted three days. I couldn't believe it. Um... Sometimes I'm either busy or I get lazy and I just don't change out my warmers as often as I should. So I just kind of let them go, especially if I can still smell the scent. And with this one, I could. This was kind of a, it was an aquatic-y, ocean -y scent, but with some masculine kind of cologne vibe. I loved it, though. It was so good. It wasn't what I was expecting from it, to be honest. But I would repurchase this one. It was a gr really good scent for me. And my absolute favorite of the week is from Melting Memories. I won this in her giveaway. This is the Beekeeper. Kind of surprising too, because this has honey in it. And I'm not usually a big fan of honey, but I've discovered a couple of scents with honey that I really like. This is Joe Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey, which is a perfume. And the scent notes are Nectarine, Peach, Plum, Black Currant, Vetiver, acacia honey oh my gosh you guys i melted this here in my bedroom and bathroom it was still throwing four days later and i changed it out four days now i'm not saying it was super strong or the strongest throw like it was in the beginning but when i walked in my bedroom i could still smell it and i loved it that much that i just kept letting it go because i loved coming in here and smelling it it's so pretty I loved it. I even ordered a uh, dupe of the perfume because, of course, the Joe Malone perfume is a lot more expensive. But I did order a dupe of this perfume because I love the scent of it so much off of Dossier, I think is how you say it. Um, so that'll be coming in a day or two. I can't wait to see if it smells like this wax. This is a definite repurchase for me. I'm going to be going on her website when I do start ordering wax again and looking to stock up on this because this is gorgeous favorite of the week loved it can't say enough about it um you know it does have a lot of scents in it that i like i do love uh peach and plum and things like that but it's so strange to me how 
scent notes can just come together and make such a gorgeous scent. When you're reading them, you know, you're like, oh, I don't know about this, but this one right here, simply gorgeous, like a feminine type, perfumey, just really great, gorgeous, beautiful, spectacular scent. All right, guys, that is it for my empties for the past two weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. Comment if you want to talk, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care, stay cool, and be kind to one another. Bye!